Hey, so your team's driving you crazy? Say more. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, what's the summer? Okay. All right, so your team, so you have team members going out on vacation and other people are complaining that they have to do the work when they're not there. Okay. So what's happened so far? You just kind of rolled your eyes. Okay. Well, I probably have some other things to suggest, but that's why we're talking. So anytime that you're having challenges or like, what do I do? That's, that's what I'm here for is to be your um, like person behind the scenes. Should I come and talk to them? Well, I generally say HR should be like your, your playwright, not your best supporting or lead actor or actress. Meaning, if you have your team and they're like, hey, people are out, uh, we have to do their work, all of a sudden HR comes for a talking to, like, they probably won't like me coming to talk to them. I know it, that's HR life a bit. But also, they think for you, like, what, you can't have this conversation with us and do something about it. And so it can just hurt that dynamic and that um, interaction can make it so that team members, you know, lose some trust or feel like, well, I can't say anything without HR coming to have a formal conversation. And so overall, what I can help do is talk to you about things to do and say. So some of it that's helpful is to put your feet in like the shoes of, of your team members. So like, if they have full plates and now all of a sudden someone else is like posting pictures on social media or texting pictures from like the beach and they're like, oh, like it can feel stressful. So some of the question is, the good thing is they're saying something. Like if you're hearing it, it's much better than what happens in a lot of environments and they're just side texting, like, like oh, like griping, like at least you're hearing it. So yeah, they're saying it directly to you. Well, one of the benefits of when you're a manager, if people are coming, even if they're complaining, they still believe that you can do things to help them. It's when people give up on their managers and they stop talking that it's, it's, it's worse for the overall working relationship and getting things done. But so some of it's thinking about it, like how does that feel? Probably not great. But in the moment, someone may be thinking like, oh God, now I have this work to do. They may not be thinking, okay, well me helping this person out makes it so when I take vacation, they can help out as well. And yeah, no, it's, it's a perspective. So I think some of the things to think through are like at the basic level, like no matter what happens, like there's times people do have to work harder or there's times that people should be able to like take some breaks, but it's thinking about do things feel fair? So have all of your team members had the opportunity to take vacation? Or is it like that some members are taking it, not others? So one thing is just to look back and see, like, are people having that vacation? And so saying to your team members, like, like I hear you griping and like, and, and you can always ask people, like, is it just like a gripe and you just want to vent? Because if that's the case, that happens sometimes. But if this is something that's really bugging you, like, I'd rather talk it out and figure like, okay, what can we possibly do about it? Well, I mean, I, Part of it is having that conversation. I can't tell you the right solution any more than you, you and your team talking about it are probably best. But literally, depending on what's going on, like sometimes there's deadlines. And so this is why asking your team, okay, like what are what are our options when someone goes out? And, and I, this is why I think it can actually be helpful for a team meeting and giving your team a bit of a preview that you're gonna talk about this, but thinking about like, how can we help it so people cover when people are off without it be, being overwhelming? And so thinking like, okay, do we, do we have people just like work more? And then when you're out, you know, people can cover for you. Is there anybody on the team that doesn't have that situation? Nobody can cover for them. So that's kind of the second thing is no matter what, are there times that we can build in some time? So it's not just like your paid time off is great, but it also means you're just working more to cover for others, other people's. And so thinking of times, are there times we can just build in extra time and delay and say like, you know, someone's not available this week. And so one thing you can do as a manager and talk about this with your team is saying like, okay, identify coverage. Like, what does that look like? And doing that in times that, you know, when your team is there, so people aren't out on vacation, but having that conversation with the whole team, like what can we do for coverage? But also saying as a manager, you know, part of my job is to like make your lives easier. So as you have like a project or a deadline, especially if they're working with other teams or senior leaders, like, okay, they got this project, but I know they're having a vacation. So like, how's that gonna impact things? 
So you having conversations with other leaders. That's why it can be helpful to have those relationships. So when you go and talk to someone, like, hey, we have someone on my team who's actually out on vacation. So, you know, they, I don't want them to have to, like, jump in from their vacation to do this. Can we move deadlines out a week so that you're not thinking about that? And so it is. Like, depending on what's going on is what's the coverage? Can something just wait? And also, like, what can we do? What can we do with less? Is there something you can give up for the week? Um, so if there's like reports and things like that, can you skip one for a week? Um, if someone's doing like we do HR newsletters, if someone's going to be out and our team's out, sometimes we're like, we're just going to skip that this week. Well, thank you. I appreciate you reading the newsletter. But but I mean is 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 literally talking with your team about the options. But saying, like, I don't want it to be a situation where someone's out and I'm just taking it for granted that everyone else is going to fill in. You, you, you can. But here's one thing is if you're the manager and you're trying to cover for everybody on your team, that is a quick way for, for you to burn out. And, and, and so that's, it's not really, it's not the most sustainable always. And that's a reason a lot of people don't want to move into management because they're like, I don't want to do my job and then everybody else's jobs on my team. And so some of this is saying like, what are ways that I can help you out and others on the team? But I, I hear you like the instinct to say like, I'll just cover, I'll do it for them is totally natural. But it's also a really quick way for for you us to be having another conversation where you're like, I just can't do this anymore. So a lot of it is coming up with really just honestly thinking about sustainable things. And sometimes there's going to be a time like there, there's something due and people have to work a little harder. And, and that's that is. But it's important to then recognize like on the heels of that, we'll also, you know, give, give you a break. So it's not just go, go, go. Yeah. So so I think going to and talking, talking to those team members and just saying that, like, is this just event? Like, is this just venting or actually it's like insane? Even if it's been a few days going back and saying, like, this has been in my mind and I just wanted to check in because or I wanted to check in. You don't have to say just I wanted to check in because is this something that you're just like, I just need to get this out? Or should we talk about it? Because if something's bugging you, I want to know about it. I'd rather in saying that I'd rather have you know that than ever, me know, know about it than everybody else just side text about it. Like that tends to resonate with people. But saying like, I, it doesn't sit right with me that that's that's something that's frustrating you. I don't want to be the kind of manager that's like, yeah, that stinks. I want to be the kind of manager that's like, yeah, you're right. Okay, let's think about what our options are. And sometimes it is going to be a little harder but you also will have the benefit when you're on vacation, but it shouldn't always be that way that you're just, you know, taking on for everybody else. So yeah. Okay. We'll have those conversations and we can talk about it. You know where to find me. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you like the playwright reference. If you like these videos, then check out our comprehensive manager training courses, manager 101 and manager 201 with practical and strategic leadership coaching for managers, including packages for organizations, so you can roll out manager training and also have manager cohorts to practice those skills that can be customized to your organization. Check it out.